Cool. Welcome back to the Cycle Exchange Workshop, one of the Cycle Exchange Workshops. Now in today's episode of the Cycle Exchange Basic Bike Mechanics How-To Series, we're going to have a look at a few of some seemingly basic things, but they're really important in getting your bike to run like a dream. So we're going to look at how you tell if your disc brakes are worn out, how you tell if your chain is worn out, and bonus cassette is worn out that's tied together with the chain and then we're going to have a look at your chain rings and your jockey wheels make sure they don't need replacing right now there's two ways of measuring a disc's thickness you can use a pair of calipers like these you can pick these up for like a tenner let's say or we've got this little nifty bad boy and that just is a little bit of a, a cheats way of doing it i'll show you both right cheats way of doing it super easy you can't go wrong right you've got the brand on there, right? So this, a lovely Shimano disc brake, right? We'll have a look at that. You find your Shimano disc brake on there. Now it's very important. You see the little dips in the here, right? You need to measure in there. Uh, the reason you need to measure in there is because this bit can, it can like uh, burr outwards and that will affect the measurement you get. So always measure in here, get your little slot, line it up. And now if that pushes on there, come and get a close up of this. If this slots into there nicely, that means your disc is too worn. Obviously that can't go on there. So disc is all good. Right, for all you budding engineers out there, like Matt, engineer, you can use a pair of calipers. Now, top tip, if you come here, have a look at uh, there it is. Can you see that right there? You might be struggling to see it on camera. However, most discs these days actually say minimum TH, which stands for thickness, is 1.5 millimeters. So it's super handy. Says it on the tin. Right, now what you gotta do, turn your calibers on. Make sure you've zeroed them in. Open them up. Again, measure from the little notch there. Slap those bad boys on there. Nice little sandwich. As you can see, that read 1.83, which is well within the realms of being okay. As you saw before, it says uh, 1.5. 1.5, bad, 1.83, you're fine. Right, we are gonna have a look at this lovely jubbly. Now, you can pick one of these bad boys up from just about any shop. This is our chain measuring device of choice. It is a Park Tools one, very nice. Um, and now on your chain measuring device, you've got a 0 0.75 side and a 0 0.5 side. Now, the 0 0.5 side is used to measure the wear on your chain and your chain only. The 0 0.75 side is used to measure the wear of your chain and your cassette, right? If this 0 0.75 side fits in, like so, okay, you see that's not fitting in there, it's not slotting down into the little gap between the chain rollers, that means your cassette is fine, all right? You don't have to replace your cassette. Now, and this is the crux of the situation, just because you don't have to replace your cassette doesn't mean you don't have to replace your chain. So let's flip it over to the 0 0.5 side now. Put that, can you see that, Sam? Put that in there and then see see how that fits in there now that means you need to replace your chain so this bike needs a new chain this bike needs a new chain but not a new cassette bonus tip right cool we're gonna have a look at the jockey wheels and we're gonna have a look at the chain rings now these are a little bit of a difficult kind of Thing to deduce if it is worn out or if it isn't worn out the only way we can do that is by inserting some pictures of a worn out one here and a brand new one here uh, so we're gonna have a quick look have a look at this Sam come closer get a nice little this one here is obviously used however it is not completely worn out the reason you can tell it's not completely worn out is because the teeth don't look like shark fins again refer to this image here of the shark fin teeth looking things right now if we go on to our jockey wheels our jockey wheels 
this is what they look like when they're pretty well off, to be honest. You can see there's nice crisp edges to all of them. Uh, it's not particularly rounded out. Again, I'll insert a picture of a worn out jockey wheel right here. I hope that was helpful in terms of learning a little bit more about you know certain components that wear on your bike and how to tell if they are worn or not. Um, it is again a surefire way to make sure your bike is going to feel very nice. And uh, yeah, let us know how you get on in the comments. Uh, please follow us. Check out our Instagram. Check out the Cycle Exchange website as well for premium pre-owned performance bicycles. They are excellent. We've got a great selection of different bikes and brands. Uh, yeah, have a nice evening or morning or lunchtime whenever you are watching this video.